All right. There we go. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. This is Pat Hints once again in our Zoom room here. Zoom with Pat. Thank you very much for coming, especially those of you who might be here for the very first time. It is exciting. We are kicking off 2018 together, and it is, uh, it is exciting to be able to put up a new number. Day two of the official launch. Um, <laughs> those of you who have been here for a little bit, We've gone through our initial pre-launch stage uh, in the fall, and we are ready to rock and roll into 2018. We've got a whole bunch of new people coming in to this, and that's what it is all about. We're making a difference in the lives of other people, and that is definitely a big part of our heart and our purpose and mission. Our official mission is that we create natural mental wellness products for a community of passionate people who desire an extraordinary life, and we are delivering on that uh, mission each and every day and we are glad that you are here uh, to help us do just that or at least to find out how you might be able to help us do just that. Um, I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight. This is where I call home. I have a beautiful wife of 30 years, uh, three daughters, one old enough to be out of the house, um, one young enough to be back on her uh, first college break. So she's a freshman in college back for, I don't know, it's like three or four months that they get off nowadays. Um, She's here, and uh, we're enjoying that at home. And then my middle daughter, who is the movie star of our corporate video, is fast asleep. Thank goodness for all of us. We can get some work done. So anyway, um, let me get started. I, I want to share with you um, the excitement that we all feel around Amare Global. I want to say congratulations because somebody thought enough of you to ask you to be here, to ask you to be a part of this mission with us, and we're glad you're here in one way shape or form or another. Uh, there is our home office headquarters in Irvine, California, beautiful facility with a whole bunch of people working there every single day real hard on our behalf as we bring this company, uh, brand new company to the marketplace uh, with, a, with an incredible lineup of products and a heart to, to really make a difference and to serve a purpose. So let me share with you a couple of things. We've got uh, a special guest on here tonight with me. It's not me alone. It is our science night. We have a chance to be able to hear from our directly from our chief science officer, Dr. Sean Talbot, in just one minute. Let me catch you up if you're here, though, wondering what it is that this is all about. Uh, we're going to introduce you to a company whose name means in Latin to love. And the idea is that if you love yourself first, everything else falls into place. It probably is um, skewed a little bit by the video that's, that, uh, that you can see of me there. Uh, but love yourself first, everything else falls into place. That was the understanding and experience of our owner, founder, and um, CEO, Mr. Hip Tran. There's Hip. He believes that you rise by lifting others and has lived his life that way. And he is uh, there pictured with his beautiful wife, Pauline, and their four unbelievably gorgeous little cute children, um, three daughters and a little boy, Christian. Uh, who make up the Tran family out in uh, Southern California. And, and Hip is uh, sort of an entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and he has an incredible story that I won't even attempt to try to, to articulate to you. It is uh, one, though, that I will show you at the end of the night how to go and hear it directly from him himself. He went through a number of challenges um, from a, a business perspective and a personal perspective, in building and growing and expanding his family. And it took a toll on, on him physically and mentally. And um, he, he righted the ship in, in, uh, in fine fashion and then decided, hey, why did I go through all of that? And the answer to that question was to start Amari Global. And, and it really is the heart of our, our company and our idea. But he was um, ill-prepared from a experience perspective to be able to operate a direct selling company, recognized that, realized it, and went on an executive search that went and found some of the best people you will ever want to meet, uh, highlighted by our president of sales, Mr. Rich Higby, with a long list of, of, of um, accomplishments in our industry on the executive side of the equation. Dr. Sean Talbot, our chief science officer, I was a friend of Rich's, and uh, thankfully so. Dr. Sean is here tonight. You'll hear from him in just a minute. Mike Brown is our chief marketing officer. Um, and Mike had uh, tremendous success of his own starting a 
a company in college and became the Global Student Entrepreneur of the Year, uh, which is a big, big deal, and um, ended up selling that business, a multi-million dollar business, selling it to be able to join HIP in this endeavor. Very, very talented guy, makes us look like a, uh, a billion dollar company and we're not there yet. Uh, we just got started and yet we, we already look the part and that is in large part due to the talents of Mike Brown. Uh, they're the fuzzy guy on the right, unless that's my eyes, uh, yours truly and I've been blessed to, to have known Rich as well and, and he reached out to me and said, hey, you, you up for quite an adventure? And I'm like, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can pull together and, and so I'm, um, I'm very grateful for that opportunity to share with you tonight Amari Global uh, and our story. And our story is very much about people. It's the, the picture here on our uh, screen together is the group that works at the home office on our behalf every, every single day. And, um, and, and they, are, they have expanded in number. There's 22 of them, I think, on the screen. Now there's 31 or 32 at the home office already. And we're just a few months, um, well, we're only two days past our initial launch day. Uh, we've been open since September 1st. Of, of 2017, we went through a, a little bit of a founder's launch, got some initial people involved. Many of you probably got involved with us right before the deadline, and we're, uh, we're glad you're here. Tonight, on our science nights, we get to take this guy right here in the upper left-hand corner and let him tell us, from his perspective, why it was that uh, he created what he's created from a product standpoint and from um, a, a, an industry standpoint where we are with this whole science around mental wellness. And it is exciting uh, that we have him here. Dr. Sean, I appreciate you taking your time, buddy. Are you here? Hey, my pleasure. I'm here, Pat. Thanks for having yeah. me on tonight. Yeah, there he is. Great. Well, you deserve a proper introduction um, before we get going through these slides here. Dr. Sean has um, 20, almost 20, maybe a little bit over 20 years experience in the natural nutritional industry. One of the foremost formulators, uh, recognized as one of the top guys in our business um, and, uh, and has written 13 books about uh, different topics, mostly related to psychological vigor and stress and all the different things that happen to us um, and, uh, and has been a regular um, guest on the Dr. Oz show. He's uh, Extra News, I th Extra TV has been uh, the, the health correspondent there. He's been on ABC, NBC, different affiliates and stuff. He comes on TV all the time. You, you basically see him on TV all over the country. Um, people, people are really interested in hearing what he has to say about natural nutrition and, and rightfully so. He is the formulator, creator, developer of all of our products at Amari Global and is our chief science officer. So Dr. Sean, thanks, bud. I appreciate you being here. And I have got um, some great slides here for you to walk through and maybe incorporate um, your message of understanding and knowledge and expertise into it for those people that are here tonight, many of whom are, are brand new with us, Sean. So right. exciting times. Right. So that, thanks a lot, everybody, for, for, for jumping on tonight. I see um, we can see the list of participants, and I see a lot of names that I don't recognize in terms of People have been on our on our Zoom calls before, so that's great. Uh, you know, a lot of new people, uh, new year, you know, new category. This whole mental wellness category. So, so let me let me explain to you just a, just a bit more about my background, so you know, for the new people, how I'm how I'm coming at this whole problem, so to speak. So, Amari is a mental wellness company, as Pat said. We're all about helping people with those mental wellness challenges, whether we're talking about depression or anxiety or stress or brain fog or fatigue or, or you know, the other end of the scale, which is like restlessness and tension and things like that. You know, there's a lot of people who are in that category. So, you know, sometimes we start our calls off with these, with these you know, what we say grim reality, these, these statistics. Um, my background is in nutritional biochemistry, so that's what my PhD is in. But for most of my career, I've been studying an area that, that some people now are calling these days, it's, it, it's kind of becoming a, a, you know, sort of a hot area, nutritional psychology, this idea of how foods and what we eat, what we consume into our bodies change the way we feel. And so for years, I've been looking at you know, the foods or the herbs or the bioactives in the stuff that we're consuming and how that changes the, 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 the biochemistry and the biology of our, of our bodies. Things like, you know, what is the, what are our free radicals look like? What does our inflammation look like? What are our stress hormones look like? And our neurotransmitters and things like that. But then how does that biochemical change result in 
some sort of a psychological change, a behavior change, a, you know, uh, a mood state change. So my specialty area is this area called psychological vigor. Um, vigor in psychology research is kind of this combination of, of three factors physical energy, mental acuity, and emotional well-being. In psychology research, that vigor is the opposite of psychological burnout. So, you know, that's the area that I've been studying. So when people talk about mental wellness, vigor is certainly, a, you know, one piece of that, but so is depression, so is anxiety, so is some of the other things that I mentioned. And when we say that, when we say mental wellness, people sometimes think that we're in this very narrow vertical, that, is, that, that, that we're focusing on a very niche population of people. And so we would like to start off with these statistics to show, wait a minute, this is actually a massive category. And in some ways, that umbrella of mental wellness encompasses almost every aspect of health. So even though we're a mental wellness company and that's the tip of our spear and we're trying to get people to feel better, there are a lot of physical health benefits after that. So, you know, just, I'm not gonna go through all these bullet points, but just look at, the, I mean, literally hundreds of billions of people who are suffering with, with, with one or more of these mental wellness challenges. And, and as a result of the, the, these people being in that, in that quagmire, so to speak, and don't feel the way they wanna feel, we're spending hundreds of billions of dollars on everything from, you know, mood lifters to, to you know, tension calmers to sleep inducers to pain relievers to, I mean, all of that falls within this mental wellness category. And it, it's such a big category and it's such a big problem. And it's so, um, you know, almost resistant to change for some very important reasons that we'll get into, that the World Health Organization has pegged stress and mental wellness issues as the, as the epidemic of the 21st century, right? This is what's leading to most of the modern ailments that are, that are facing us as a, as a society. And so let's, 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 let's go to the next one, Pat. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, big problem. But one of the things that's very challenging is that when you find yourself in that situation, you very often feel like you're the only one that has that, that has that issue. You're the only one that's struggling with that. And we will, you know, part of our mission is to not only bring products and programs to market that can help people, but really educate people that you're not alone, right? That this is not, you know, something that is only affecting you, that it really is affecting millions and millions of people, uh, hundreds of millions of people. Um, and one of the things we think that we have in our favor is the timing of this, right? So from a, from a, from a category perspective, hundreds of millions of people, hundreds of billions of dollars. Um, we'll talk about the science that, that makes us think that we can change these problems and, and, and have a beneficial impact on these problems in a, in a very meaningful way in just a second. But the thing that we have that, that, that we really think is working in our favor is the timing of this, of this whole launch. You know, Pat said we're in, we're in, we're in day two of our, of our launch phase now. Um, and the response has been nothing short of, of, of amazing, I mean, near miraculous, because there's some sort of a cultural societal change going on now where people are ready for this sort of a thing. Like, and I don't know if it's people are fed up with feeling sick and tired and they're just ready for a change or if it's the social media, you know, uh, atmosphere where people are sharing things or if it's the fact that a lot of celebrities are sharing their challenges and professional athletes are sharing their challenges with, with, with mental wellness issues whatever it is, people want solutions and they want to talk about these solutions. And we've seen over the last four months of our, of our pre-launch, once people get those solutions and they see the change in themselves, they want to talk about those and they want to share them with others. And that's, that's a, that's a cultural societal change that, you know, that, that, that one little startup company could never, could never, you know, uh, uh, start the ball rolling, but we're certainly going to be the beneficiary beneficiaries of that. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a massive, massive category. The thing that gets me really excited is the scientific piece of it. So much has changed in science. When we look at how we address the whole mental wellness problem, so much has changed in the scientific community literally in the last five to 10 years that we, that, 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 that we completely think about mental wellness in a different way. And a big way we think about that 
is the microbiome. The microbiome is this collection of a hundred trillion bacteria that live in our intestines, that live in our gastrointestinal tract. And those bacteria have a massive influence on not just our physical health, but our mental wellness as well. Those bacteria can change the way that we feel in terms of our mood and our anxiety and our tension and our, our, our cravings and our, our motivation and our cognition and so many aspects of our mental function. Um, it's, it's, it, it's so much of a scientific change that it literally will change the globe. It will change the way that science and medicine move forward from this point you know, into the, into the future. And that only, you know, I, this, this, this sometimes sounds a little grandiose when I, when I talk about it, but there's very few times in all of human history where the science changes enough where it changes all of society. And you can see some examples here in the 1600s. It was when we were discovering essential vitamins and minerals and being able to cure and prevent deficiency diseases, you know, like, you know, scurvy and not enough vitamin C, that kind of stuff. The way that that changed the world is that now sailors could be on the ocean for 18 months or two years at a time colonizing different parts of the globe. I mean, that little scientific change changed medicine and then changed changed society as we know it. It happened again in the 1800s when the whole idea of germ theory of, of what is causing infectious diseases, bacteria and viruses. So knowing that, surgeons started washing their hands before surgery. It, you know, those sorts of, of, of scientific discoveries led to sanitation and clean water and sewage treatment and you know things things like that 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 led cities to grow that you couldn't have those before because you know of communicable disease. Uh, 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 diseases. In the 1900s, this is interesting because in the 1900s, the early part of the 1900s, this is when we started learning about the microbiome. But what happened right on the heels of that, like 1908, 1910 or so, when we were, when we were sort of making the observation that people who had more of these probiotic bacteria, fermented milk products in their diets, they had less disease and they lived longer, but right on the heels of that discovery came the discovery of penicillin. And that led to the whole explosion in the discovery of antibiotics and discovery of modern pharmaceuticals. And that changed the world in certain ways, but it kind of overshadowed this idea of good bacteria, bad bacteria, longevity, uh, better health, those sorts of things. And now with new scientific techniques, what we're realizing is that you, using these genetic techniques, we're learning more about our, our, our somatic genomes, the genomes in our bodies, but more importantly, the genome of these microbial partners that we have, that microbiome, and that is really what's driving the scientific changes now. Uh, let's, let's, let, let's go to the next slide so we can talk a little bit about those. So one of these things that we've realized is that when we talk about mental wellness, for so many years, I mean, the last 100 years or 200 years, we've been thinking about if the problem was sensed here, depression, anxiety, stress, for example, here in the brain, that it made perfect sense, right? It was very logical that if I felt sad in my brain, that the problem must be here in my brain. That's, that's, a, that's a perfectly logical conclusion if you didn't know about the second brain that's in the gut. What, now that we know about that second brain, what we're realizing is that the dysfunction, the imbalance might actually be in the second brain. It might be an imbalance of signals that these bacteria are making that's being sensed by this first brain. So if we want to fix that imbalance, if we want to fix that faulty signaling, we have to fix the imbalance in that microbiome. And so now we've got two targets. We have the target in the brain where we can do certain things, but now we have this second brain target in the gut where we can also do other things. And it's, it's really led to this explosion in research between the two brains or what we call the gut brain axis. What you can see on your screen right now is a really, really good book on this topic. It's called The Mind-Gut Connection. And this goes into the, you know, the last five or 10 or 20 years of research around this area of these disruptions in the gut can result in disruptions in the, in the first brain, in the brain in our head, leading to problems like depression, anxiety, stress, brain fog, all the things that we're talking about. So our idea here as a mental wellness company at Amare is how can we best improve 
mental wellness? What is the cutting edge of the science? Well, there's certainly things that we can do here in the, in the brain, but we want to use the cutting edge science to, to, to look at what's happening in the microbiome, what's happening in that second brain. And by rebalancing that, we can have, we can have, we can have benefits in the entire gut brain axis. So when we talk about the microbiome, we're talking about these bacterial genes. We're talking about these 20 million or more. You know, the number keeps getting upped. Every time the science advances a little bit by a little bit, I have to keep coming back and, and updating this slide. So probably by the time you guys see me in January at our, at our launch event in California, this 20 million might be 30 million. Who knows what the latest scientific paper is going to show. But think about how that number dwarfs the number of genes that we have in our bodies. In our bodies, we have about 23,000, 20, 25,000, 23 is the number that we use, genes in our, in our human genetic profile. In our bacterial genetic profile, that microbiome, we've got a thousand times more. We've got 20 million genes there. And the thing that's interesting about it is that those bacterial genes can actually turn on or turn off or change what we call change the expression of our human genes. So that can lead to, you know, a, 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 an exacerbation or, a, or, a, or a, an alleviation of, a, of what we might think of as, as, as a genetic risk profile for some sort of a disease. What we're trying to do, though, is change the signaling of the bacteria that we have in our guts, change the signals that they're sending. Your bacterial genome, that, that microbiome, makes more serotonin than your brain in your head. It makes more dopamine, more GABA, more norepinephrine, more of these neurotransmitters that have these effects on our behavior, on our mood, on our motivation, on our, on our, on our, on our mental clarity. More of that is made in the gut then it's actually made in, the, made in the brain. And so what we're, what we're realizing is that in order to have the best mental wellness, you need to balance the brain, but you also need to balance the second brain. And importantly, you need to balance what we call the axis in between. So this, this axis that I'll talk about in a second is what sends the communication signals from the second brain to the first brain. And importantly, it's a bi-directional communication. So some of those signals go from the first brain down to the second brain. And you know, when I, when I talk about all of this, it can get very complicated, but people I think know at a, you know, haha on a gut level that, that these signals happen. And that if you're out of balance in your gut, you're going to feel not great, right? If your gut is, is, is off some way, you're going to feel not great in the rest of your body. So if you're in balance, you're going to feel great. Your energy is going to be good. Your motivation is going to be good. Your happiness is going to be good. Your mental clarity is going to be good. But when you're out of balance, whether it's in the gut or it's in the brain or it's some sort of staticky communication that happens in an axis, you feel off in a certain way. And people will very often use that terminology. They'll go into their doctors and they'll say, I can't put my finger on it but I feel like something is off or something is out of balance. And as a result of that imbalance, you might feel tired. You might feel, you know, the blues. You might feel tense. You might feel anxious. You might feel bloated. You might feel achy. You might just feel sort of old and worn out. And those, those a lot of times people will just view those as signals of aging, right? Those are all signs that we're getting older or we're under stress or, you know, we're not getting enough sleep or we're not getting the right diet. And, 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 and they can be signals of all of those. But for someone like me who studies this area, I look at those sort of non-specific out of balance signals and say, you know what, you probably have some sort of a disruption in this gut brain axis. And if we can rebalance you, rebalance your microbiome, rebalancing the signals that are going through that axis up to your brain, you're going to feel a heck of a lot better. So we've talked about the brain. We've talked about the gut. This axis in between is vitally important. It's, it, it's maybe as important as each of those two brains, the first brain and the second brain. And that, that axis of communication consists of your nervous system. And so there's, there's, there's signals that are going back and forth between those two brains through those hardwired nerves millisecond by millisecond, you know, and they're, I mean, they're, they're sending signals of sort of a system check at, 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 at all times throughout the night and throughout the day. 
There are chemicals I mentioned before. The gut makes the majority of the neurotransmitters in your body. So there's neurotransmitters, there's hormones, there's these other compounds called cytokines, which are sort of the, the signaling of the immune system and signaling of inflammation throughout the body. So cytokines are kind of a, a, a quasi-chemical between a neurotransmitter and a hormone. And then there's the immune system. The immune system is, is kind of like this the surveillance organism, right? That we, or surveillance organ, that we never, you know, people never think of their immune system until they're sick, right? And then they think, oh, I better get my immune system up to snuff. But if your immune system is properly primed, it's not suboptimal and it's not overactive. If it's properly primed, people feel better. We can actually measure that. If your immune system is properly primed, we can measure using well-being indexes. We can measure that your quality of life is better, that your well-being is better, that your mood is better, that your mental focus is better, just because your immune system is sending the proper amount of signaling from your first brain to your second brain and, you know, and back and forth. So your immune system is, a, is there to shield us from things, but it's also there as a kind of system check to, you know, tell, tell what's going on in the body. So if we can get that in balance, we're going to feel better as a result of that. Let's go to that next slide, Pat, if we can. And so, it, it, you know, it really comes down to, you know, one of the things that we feel really lucky about, you know, um, uh, Pat mentioned about that we have a great marketing team, right? The marketing team can take a download of the science from myself or from and, and anybody else who's on our scientific advisory board, and they can make it really easy for people to understand and really easy for people to share. So a lot of times it's, you know, I've been studying this area for almost 20 years and it, it, it's kind of second nature to me. I get really excited by it and hopefully I can get other people excited that, that this might be the, you know, the missing piece of the puzzle for them to improve their mental wellness and finally feel better again and get themselves out of that unhealthy status into a healthy status. Our marketing team makes the science really easy to not just understand, but makes it easy to share. So that, I mean, it really gets down to being as simple as what you see on the screen right now. If you're in healthy status, you're gonna feel better at all these different levels. And if you're out of balance, you're gonna feel not great at all these different levels. And one of the things we find that's interesting is that we could take 10 people who are unbalanced in the in similar ways, microbiome, gut brain axis signaling, axis disruptions, but if we, if we apply the same rebalancing regimen, we have, a, we have a kit called fundamentals, and get their microbiome in balance, get their immune system primed, get their gut lining healthy, get their brain to have good blood flow and good neurotransmitter balance, those 10 people, one might be having pain, one might be having uh, you know, depression feelings, one might be feeling anxious, one might be feeling stressed. You get the point, they all resolve because we've, we've changed the pattern of what that gut brain axis signaling looks like. So we can take somebody very easily from unhealthy status into a healthy status. And they, it, it, it's really interesting to see because one person might say, my brain fog lifted. One person might say my fatigue lifted and my energy is back. One person might say their motivation. It's a really nice thing to see because their body is, is sort of manifesting that that imbalance in different ways. But as soon as we restore their balance, that, that health, that mental wellness comes back into their bodies in a very, very noticeable way. Let's go to that next one, Pat. And so, you know, this, this kind of speaks to what I was just talking about, this idea of people being on a mental wellness continuum. Um, wherever you are on that continuum, our products can help move you up. And that's the idea here is that we're not running out there saying that we're going to cure the world of depression or cure the world of anxiety disorders or that kind of thing. We're, we're trying to say to people that no matter where you are on this mental wellness continuum, the plan is to get you feeling a little bit better tomorrow and a little bit better the next day and a little bit better the next day. And the piece of it that's really important to understand is that everybody is somewhere on this continuum. You know, even if you're up here in the nine or 10, I feel like I'm a pretty up person, but I also have a pretty stressful job. I travel a lot and I have busy schedule and you know, just, just, like, just like, you know, Pat, Pat lives this as, you know, as much as I do. We want to feel better. 
We want to be able to resist that stress. We want to be resilient in the face of that stress. We want to be motivated as soon as our feet hit the floor in the morning. We want to be able to have good, relaxed sleep at night. You know, everybody should want to feel better that next day. We can do that with proper gut-brain axis balance, and we can do that through our products. So, you know, the message we want to try to get out there to people is that if you're sort of on the lower end of that mental wellness continuum, you're not alone. There literally are millions and millions of people people who are on the same boat. So why don't we join hands with them and try to get them from a three to a four and try to get those people who are in that middle zone, the five sixes there, that just kind of, you know, think that that's the way they're supposed to feel, that they think that, well, I'm older or, you know, some of the things I said before, I'm under a lot of stress and I'm not getting enough sleep and I guess this is it. I guess this is how I'm supposed to feel. We want to get that, get that person to realize, wait a minute, we can naturally rebalance what's going on in your body that might have been re that might have been unbalanced by the lifestyle that you've been living so long or the stress you're under or the air you're breathing or the food you're eating or whatever the case may be. Let's get you up a little bit more. And then you're going to have the energy to go up a little bit more. And then you're going to have the motivation to go up a little bit more. So it's really important for people to understand these three bullet points that you see here. How you feel is not just in your head. We certainly feel it in our head, but the, but the source of imbalance, the source of the problem is probably further down in our body. It's probably in the gut because that's the part that's been neglected. And that second brain down there and the microbiome imbalances that we have because of our modern lifestyles, that plays a major role, maybe the most important of all the roles that we've, that we've found scientifically in what our mental wellness looks like. So, you know, those are important considerations. It's not just here, it might also be there, but the most important aspect of that whole story is that we can do something naturally to rebalance you. And in doing so, restoring that balance in your life, improve your mental wellness and improve how you feel and improve not just how you feel right this second, but how you feel in response to the next stress and the next stress and how we age and, and all the rest, right? It's a really exciting time that the science has changed enough around microbiome and around gut brain access that we can do something scientifically and build that into our products so that people can feel the way that they want to feel and improve their mental wellness. It's really, really exciting time. And just in the last four months, we've seen this in thousands and thousands of people. And it's very gratifying that, you know, it's one thing to have the scientific studies and things like that to be able to show people, look, you should feel better because the science says so. And we build that into our products, but then to actually see it in the people and have them sharing their stories back and then sharing it with other people, it's the, it's the, it's, it's the best part of this job. So. Um, that might be my last slide, I think, Pat. So, oh, well, the products, of course. <laughs> so, you know, we have all of this science built into the product. So we've got our gut-brain axis solution. That's the, that's, the, that's the purple and white box that you see in the middle. That's our fundamentals kit. The fundamentals kit is our gut-brain axis solution. We've got a product in there for the gut, one for the axis, and one for the, and one for the brain. So we've got the full gut-brain axis kit right there for people. And a lot of people will get that and they'll get rebalanced across their microbiome and their gut brain axis and they'll feel amazing and they'll say, that's what I needed. That was the missing piece of the puzzle I haven't been able to solve before. But then we have a, we have a whole line of products. We have 12 products that all influence mental wellness in one way, shape or form. So we've got a line of products called Menta Therapeutics that do things like, that improve sleep quality, um, give relief from aches and pains, uh, improve mood. So really focusing on the depression, anxiety, stress resilience axis in our brain, uh, alleviate fatigue and improve energy in a way that no other product on the market does. So that's our therapeutics line. But then we also have a Menta Essentials line, which is essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, omegas, enzymes, um, uh, separate probiotics that are different than the clinically validated probiotics that we have in our, in our mentabiotics line. So, you know, those sorts of things of looking to the science, seeing what the science says in terms of how can we naturally balance all of this biochemistry in the body for the, for the focus of improving somebody's mental wellness. That's what Amari is all about. And that 
is only the tip of the iceberg for what we have planned for later on this year, where you know we're a mental wellness company. We're not a microbiome company, even though that's where the cutting edge is for improving mental wellness. We're gonna harness that in order to bring you the best mental wellness products, but we're also developing mental wellness programs because we fully know that nutrition is one piece of the mental wellness puzzle. We also know that interventions like yoga and meditation and mindfulness and gratitude and that sort of constellation of, of interventions can improve mental wellness. We know that proper sleep can improve mental wellness. We know that proper exercise and physical activity can improve mental wellness. We know that your, your baseline diet of if you're eating enough fiber and eating enough of the right oils and, and less of the, of, of the wrong kinds of foods like processed sugars and things like that, that can have an impact on mental wellness. So we're creating an entire universe, what we call the Amari Mental Wellness Platform, that's gonna give you those options, right? Literally a menu of different interventions that can improve your mental wellness in different ways. Imagine being able to take an assessment and it will, it will recommend the, the specific interventions that are customized for your specific mental wellness challenges. And that might be a supplement, it might be a dietary intervention, it might be a physiological intervention, like a, like a mindfulness sort of a, sort of a course. Imagine being able to put all of those together to give you a customized approach to your unique mental wellness challenges. That's what Amare is building, and that's you're very early in the process now by taking a look tonight. So uh, with that, I'll hand it back over to you, Pat. Yeah, Sean, talk to us real quick, because tonight's science night, right? And, uh, and I know that during the formulation of these things, there are no other products like Amare's on the marketplace today, in, in part or in whole. Uh, for the most part, nine of our 12 products are protected in one way, shape, or form or another, whether it be patent protections or um, exclusive agreements. Just talk to us about that, because that becomes an important element uh, with regards to the business model that we're operating under through all of us as independent wellness partners. Yeah, exactly. So, so the majority of our products are either, pat, are, are either patent pending, our own Amare patents, or, or by partnership, where we've licensed patents from particular ingredient suppliers, um, or we've done supply agreements. So, so for example, in that relief product, there's a, there's a blend of two patented ingredients a very unique turmeric extract, a very unique Boswellia extract that have, I mean, vastly superior absorption to anything out there. Uh, and so we've done a supply agreement with that Italian pharmaceutical company so that we're the only ones in the world that can combine those two. And the reason we do it, why would we want to combine that turmeric and that Boswellia so we can get fast acting effect and long lasting effect in order to, to reduce inflammation and help people with their aches and pains. No other company in the world can deliver that kind of a product. Um, our, our, our sleep product, we're the only company in the world that can use this very unique corn grass extract to improve sleep efficiency and sleep quality, right? So not only is that a, a unique ingredient to us, we're the only ones in the world where you can get that. And we want it to have that sort of an exclusive position because sleep in and of itself is something you can build an entire company around. We're building a, a very unique product because we realize that sleep is so important to mental wellness. And so that's, a, you know, that's something that we wanted to build there. Um, our mood product has multiple patented ingredients in it. Um, our, our fundamentals line has patented and clinically validated ingredients, but then that concept of addressing the entire gut-brain axis as a holistic, comprehensive approach, Amari has some patents around that, that as, a, as, a, as a method of, 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 of treatment, so to speak. So there's all kinds of ways that we're looking at the clinical evidence and using clinically validated branded ingredients at the levels that were used in those clinical trials. You know, so this is, this is not rat studies, this is not test tube studies, this is actual human studies showing significant and dramatic changes in mental wellness parameters, but then also protecting at the, so starting out at a, at a sort of a scientific level that a lot of companies won't do, looking at a patent protected intellectual property level that a lot of companies don't do, looking at those supply agreements and those partnerships with the people who are actually growing the ingredient globally around the world, that's something a lot of companies don't do. So it's this, it's this layered 
protection, if you will, because, you know, if people are going to build a business around these ideas and around this very new approach to a whole company developed around and focused at mental wellness, you know, they need to know that, that, that their efforts are going to be, are going to be protected for the long term. So I, I, th I think that's important. Yeah, no doubt about it. And one last thing about the science is the clinical studies that have been uh, utilized and, and validate the very ingredients of our products. Obviously, that was something of, of great importance um, to a number of us, but obviously to you as our chief science officer. Can you just talk about the volumes of studies and things and maybe our own study that's underway with the combination of these three in the box? Yeah, sure. So, so you know, looking at looking at uh, you know, let's just use our, our 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 fundamentals kit as an example, right? Across just those three products in that one fundamentals kit, we've got let me think, we've got over a hundred clinical trials on the ingredients in those products, and more than fifty patents or patents pending on just the ingredients in that in that one fundamentals kit, right? That is something that is, Billion dollar companies don't even have that level of science. But it's one thing to say, okay, I'm gonna look to the studies on this particular strain of probiotic bacteria. Great studies on that, I wanna use that in my formula. And then this other strain and use that. And then this other strain and use that. And then look at the right foods for those and use the most clinically validated prebiotics to feed those bacteria and do that for every single ingredient across each one of the products. That's, that's one way that we can do it. We have also taken the, the approach that, that we want to see if there's a true synergy of that recipe, so to speak, right? So, you know, all the ingredients are all clinically validated, but what happens when we put them together? Do they work just like they do in the clinical trial? Do they work worse? That, I mean, that could, that could happen, or do they work better? And so in the trial that we just presented at the American College of Nutrition Conference in the middle of November, and we'll present some more data uh, the middle of this month at our launch event, we're seeing where we would expect, based on the existing research, we would expect to see good bacteria the, the levels of, of bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium in the gut, we would expect those levels to go up around 70%. And if that happens, they produce different kinds of, of signaling molecules that significantly change how we, how we feel in a, in a very positive way. So 70% is what we would expect to see. We're seeing in our trials anywhere from a 300 to a 1,000% increase because of the unique synergistic matrix that we have, right? Giving the right bacteria, but giving the right foods, giving the right protective ingredients. And, you know, we talk about this when we do some of the deep dives of why did you choose that strain? And why did you choose this fiber? And why did you choose that phy phytonutrient? Um, when you put them all together, we're seeing something that isn't just one plus one equals two. It's more plus, you know, one plus one plus one plus plus one equals a million, right? That's, that's the magnitude of effect that we're seeing. And, and you know, you don't, you don't see that synergy unless you actually measure it. And we're doing that in our, in our, in our own clinical trials. So uh, really excited about our preliminary data. Uh, we're going to see what it looks like when we, when we have the whole data set analyzed. And like I said, we're going to present that in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, and at the end of the day, what's really interesting to me, and we'll, well, I'll wrap it up here in, in, in right now. So, but what's really interesting to me is how quickly people lean into the message of mental wellness uh, at that um, conference that you presented that at. I think you got some kind of an award of some kind. <laughs> Yeah, that everybody was pretty wild with, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny because um, I, I, I actually wasn't able to stay for the last day of the conference. I had to fly off to another meeting. And uh, I got something in the mail, you know, a week or so afterwards. And I was like, oh, what's the, you know, what, what am I getting from American College of, uh, of Nutrition? So I opened it up and it was a letter and a certificate that said, you know, dear Dr. Talbot, you know, your, your presentation about the microbiome changes were was uh, selected as uh, one of the most outstanding pieces of research at the conference, you know? So like that, that kind of thing is, it's great, right? I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on my CV and, and that'll be wonderful. But the thing that's cool about that is that, you know, an organization like American College of Nutrition, which is a pretty, you know, uh, prestigious organization, but also conservative, they see something like that and, and they'll, they'll give it an outstanding scientific award because what we're, what we're doing is we're taking the science 
and we're, and we're making it meaningful to people, right? That's the thing that's really cool about it. Like I geek out about the science and I get to read all these scientific papers that I have here and that makes me excited. But to actually be able to take that and to put it into a product that's gonna have a benefit in somebody's life and be able to show that and then be able to have that person experience it, that's amazing. Like that's the opportunity that we have with this company. No one's ever you know, tried to do this kind of thing before, you know? And, and, what, and you know, maybe, maybe I should say this too in closing, you know, it's, it's one of the challenges with the whole mental wellness space is that it's such a multifactorial problem, right? If somebody's not feeling the way they want to feel, it's probably a lot more than just one neurotransmitter being out of balance. And that's the, that's the solution that people have now. They can be prescribed Prozac or Zoloft or, you know, one of those medications is going to work on one, one or two neurotransmitters. But if your problem is that you're out of balance in your gut, or you're out of balance in your immune system, or you're out of balance in your cytokine inflammatory signaling, or you're out of balance in your neurotransmitters, or you're out of balance, you know, you get the point, right? This is the first time in history that, an, that a company has been formed around this idea of providing a multifactorial solution for a multifactorial problem. And that's one of the reasons I think that we're seeing such traction out there in the market is that, people finally have the kind of solution that is matched up with the problem that they've been suffering with. And it's been, it's been pea shooters before. And now it's, you know, and now it's this, it's this multifactorial solution, which I, which I think is, is going to, is going to help a lot of people. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I appreciate you so much because uh, nobody at the home office allows me to even attempt to say those things. <laughs> so, much appreciated, man. Let me wrap this up so everybody can go home. Um, or, or go on to what uh, else you're doing. So everything that Dr. Sean talked about, all of our products are guaranteed 100% satisfaction. We just ask all of the customers that we run into, the people that we care about, to evaluate them, to try them for themselves, to see how, in fact, they might work uh, for them. And we'll guarantee that whole, uh, that whole process. If they don't feel the way they like to feel or expect to feel, then we'll gladly refund the dollars that it took them to, uh, to evaluate us in the first place. We just know the success we're having is overwhelming and we're very excited about it. This all means an opportunity for every single one of us because you and I both know as we introduce this to the marketplace, um, when we make a difference in the lives of other people and there is a real value delivered to the end user, then there is a money flow a tremendous money flow that follows that. And that creates opportunity for us because this is the way we've decided to go to the marketplace, word of mouth advertising, direct selling, if you will. Uh, and we allow everybody to choose their own path of how they want to get involved, whether they want to just be well and try the products, that's great. Love our customers. We go out there every day trying to find a few more. And then those of you who might be here tonight trying to figure out whether this makes sense for you to make a difference. Some of you have already made that choice. It's a great choice. We're gonna do something incredible. We're building a culture of, um, of caring, of, uh, of, of innovation. Our, our, core, our core values are love, innovation, uh, integrity, service, and humility. And it's a great group of people to be able to, to call friends, family members, and, uh, and now business associates, right? That's how we're gonna do it. And, and we'll go out there and build a team together. We're gonna understand this, that if we can help make a difference in your life, then you won't keep that to yourself. You will share it with others and so will others as the difference happens for them and as they introduce it to others. That's how we're going to bring Amari Global to the world. That's the way that this is going to happen. And we are just so glad that you're here. We're going to help you every way we possibly can. We're going to be here each night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We do these Zooms. If it's not me, it'll be somebody standing in for me. Uh, we do Monday nights and Wednesday nights as sort of more of a little bit more of an opportunity piece. We talk a little bit more about how the money flows and what position we find ourselves in and the timing mechanism that's here. Tuesday and Thursday, Dr. Sean joins us. Thir Tuesday night, you saw the example of tonight's presentation, but Thursday nights, we get into a little bit more. We're into a series now. We're going to continue to do our series. Sometimes we have an open mic where we have questions and answers from Dr. Sean, uh, but also we're into our deep dive series that is absolutely spectacular. People are absolutely loving it. You can't miss that. And then Saturday mornings, uh, we get together and we do a little training. We get saying, hey, welcome, whether you're experienced or this is your first time ever doing something like this, let us give you some tools to go ahead and you know crawl before you walk and walk before you run 
And how fast and far you want to go is completely up to you. You'll always have support. We'll take two steps for every step you take as long as you are willing to take the first one. Nobody's going to drag anybody across the finish line here or, or try to talk anybody into success. This is really up to you. And that's all we can ask from an entrepreneurial standpoint, isn't it? Here's the deal. I'm going to give you the location that you can get to uh, more information. And that is zoomwithpat.com. Same place you came tonight. But then you can scroll down a little bit and you'll see a, 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 a little tab there that you can get the entire Amari story. Click on that. There's more from Dr. Sean there. You'll hear Hip Trans story from him himself. Uh, you'll also hear Rich Higby's story of how Hip uh, was introduced and how they got to, to become kindred spirits in this whole endeavor. And then you'll hear Dr. Sean breaking down our products a little bit more than what he has time to do tonight. So hopefully that will help you. Here's the one thing you should do. Get back together with the person that asked you to be here tonight. Or if you're watching this in replay, get together with the person who sent you. It will be of great help and service to you to be able to do that. So um, I thank you very much for being here. I wish you a wonderful, happy, healthy, and prosperous 2018. It's going to be epic for all of us, in my opinion. And I'm glad you're here with us. So thanks for your time tonight, Dr. Sean. Thanks again, buddy. With that, thanks. say good night and goodbye. Until next time, see you, well, tomorrow night. How about good night, that? everybody. Good night, Sean. Bye -bye. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye.